everyone, welcome back to Ground Zero. As promised, we bring you more stories on Miss Demina on Stomp. Instead of errand drivers, the culprits in these contributions are maids. Stomper Jaslyn claims her maid stole items such as undergarments, toiletries and even cash from her and her family. The Stomper also found notebooks containing erotic diary entries and cuttings of sexy women that the maid had hidden. But that's not all. The Stomper claimed that $700 cash of different currencies was also found on the maid during a search conducted by agency staff. But the agency told Jaslyn that the onus was on her to prove that the cash belonged to her. Jaslyn also claimed that the maid covered her baby from head to toe with a sarong in the middle of the night. Jaslyn wrote, we want justice to be done. Instead of having the May agency to keep this matter under wraps and transfer this maid to another potential victim, we have also made a police report. In another incident, Stomper Tang Tang noticed that two maids were sleeping at the void deck of a block in Woodlands Ring Road at around 4pm on July 10th. An unattended pram with a baby inside was nearby. Oh dear. The Stomper says the baby was crying but the maids continued sleeping. The Stomper wrote, what if the baby pram was pushed away by some stranger? Hmm. Marty Lee left this comment that was food for thought. I don't need a luxurious life now. You know why? Because I decided to give up my job to work from home as a tutor. My children are mine to bring up and not a stranger's. Especially ones like these. Eat your words and greet and roll. That's why it's best to look after your own child just like in the old days. Meanwhile, Stomper Sabrina was appalled after her maid gave birth within three months of employment. The maid gave birth at a maid agency and the maid agency told the Stomper that according to the Ministry of Manpower's rules and regulations, the employer has to bear all the medical fees and costs for repatriating the maid and the baby. The Stomper wrote, In the first place, the maid should have been at least six months pregnant when she arrived in Singapore. So how could she have passed the full medical checkup? Exactly. The Stomper added, Furthermore, the medical checkup is handled by the maid agency and not me. As such, shouldn't the maid agency be responsible for the costs or at least go after the doctor who did the medical checkup? Hmm. Sabrina says that the Ministry of Manpower informed her that they would not mediate because it has nothing to do with them as they only issue work permits. Marlene Gui suggested that Sabrina make a police report before going to see the minister in her area for help while Greeny had this explanation for how the maid managed to pass the medical examination. Many blame the agent, doctor, etc. But could it be the maid got her urine sample from another non-pregnant maid? That's what I heard from someone. Hmm. In our next clip, we find out how Singapore's Good Samaritans make a difference in the lives of people and animals. So stay tuned!